Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading, guys. This is for July 16th through 22nd. <laughs> yes, well, let's see who's coming your way and what they are bringing with them, what kind of energy they are bringing towards you. Our talisman this week is our Leo Lion for courage. Help us to overcome challenges and changes, be brave and courageous, but also think of uh, the strength card in the tarot better understanding of something that's what gives us the courage and bravery it's when we can understand the symptom let's see what spirit wants to bring out about the energies uh, for your week pop first one out nothing will come of this situation we got a boy the course moon let's see what else what else is there anything else for him? yes there is emotions are running high super full moon emotions are running high but just know guys <laughs> any dreaded stuff from the emotions that are running high this week uh, nothing's going to come of it mm -hmm. bottom of the deck who else got this capricorn maybe I'm not sure don't quote me on it. Somebody else got this one. It's hold your vision. Mm, and that's the undercurrent energy. And that's what spirit is telling you. Through a uh, super moon. And avoid a course. Uh, hold your vision. Don't be de deterred. Or influenced. Or distracted. Uh, from the vision you have. Of something. So just yeah. Mm, mm, okay. Let's see what else will come out. For my Aquarius, guys. Aquarius. If you have an explosion uh, this week on these emotions, uh, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be okay. Let's come in on the Void of Course. Let's see what that one. What? Um, mm, I got two standing. We've got Loyalty. A number 33. It's a master number, master teacher. So it means there's a lesson in the connection to be learned. A master lesson to be learned. And it's bringing in loyalty. Loyalty. What's coming with it? Wishes. Wishes. Ooh. Somebody's loyalty, fidelity, their desires, uh, true wishes are in question. Mm -hmm. Let's come in on the emotions are running high. Emotions pop. Somebody feels invisible. Mm -hmm. Like they're not being seen or heard. Uh, wow. Wow. For some reason, I want to do the undercurrent energy of hold your vision. What's that, Spirit? Bring it out for us. What is to hold the vision, Pop? Stay grounded. This is a high priestess of Earth. Think of it as a Capricorn energy. And she's got a number three on her, which is also communications, the third house, siblings, neighbors, quick trips, early learning, education, communication. Gemini with a Capricorn energy. Communication is going to be key this week. Uh, try, Do try if you can because emotions are running high. We don't really have the explosion energy of... Um, what is it? Is it a new moon or a full moon in Aries that brings out the explosion of, <laughs> of emotions? We don't really have that one this w with your reading, but I want I would say before before you make too you know say too many things, really stop, question, consider, uh, let the emotions roll away from it before you actually say it so that you're putting it into um, communicating it in a way that won't override the void of course moon of nothing will come from it because uh -huh. <laughs> sometimes you can say stuff that you cannot take back yes so just be careful on communications this week stay grounded and realistic about things uh -huh. But hold the vision. Be practical about something. The vision, uh, there's a practicality. Something your brain keeps telling you. This is this is crazy. It's all in your head. Something like that. You know what's real. Blah, blah, blah. Go with the real this week. Hold that real vision this week. Because emotions are running high. Somebody feels invisible. 
like they're not being seen or heard or they're being chosen uh, over or not being chosen because somebody else's desires lie somewhere else. The loyalty is being placed somewhere else. They don't feel like they're a priority this week. There's the simple phrase. I will learn how to spit it out sooner or later. Somebody that feels like they're on on the back burner. They're not a priority. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else will come out. Let's come in on this. Uh, wishing and loyalty. Where's your loyalty lie? A love offer. Is your heart open to receive my love offer? Oh, pop. Or I could even say anything or get a shuffle. Um, restricted. I feel restricted and confused by my circumstances. And for some of us, children may be involved or the desire for children. Or we may feel like someone's acting like a child. <laughs> or we may be going to act like a child. I don't know. Children are important to me. And it's affecting our connection. Ooh, okay, so that may not be for all of us guys because that fell out before I could get a full shuffle and even ask spirit for anything. Let's go ahead and come in on the invisible over here. Invisible, the super full moon pop. Tough beginning. It's not going to be easy, but I'm willing to fight for our love. One more coming with it. New beginning. Let's forget about the past. Take a chance and start again. Yeah. Nothing will come of come of the friction energy this week. And it's okay, guys. Uh, just be authentic. But like I said, don't try to curtail just blurting out hurtful stuff. Let's don't do a five of swords on each other and cut each other up just, just to get a point across. Because uh, that's bittersweet victory. Think before you open your mouth. Stay grounded and, and be realistic. Is it all in my head? Is it just me? And if it is, allow, allow yourself to cool off for a minute. Maybe even a little more than a minute. And then engage a conversation of, I need to share this with you. I feel like. And go from there. <laughs> Instead of, you always point. Don't point fingers. <laughs> don't point fingers. Whew. Let's see what else will come out here, and then I'm going to jump into the tarot and pull your person's energy, your energy. But let's see what else Spirit wants to bring out on the love offer and the feeling restricted. We've got Temple of the Soul. You are on your karmic path, so you can unravel the mystery of your karmic debts. Karma. And you got a lighthouse with it. You're a light that can't be hidden, so don't even try to dim it for anyone. Don't dim yourself for anyone. But it's re re retrograding the invisible. I feel like I'm not being seen, heard, or taken into account on something. Let's come in on this one, guys. It's a tough. It's tough, but let's start over. Boundaries. Pisces energy getting back into the flow with each other is the Pisces energy. Set and honor your boundaries to avoid being taken advantage of. Was there anything else on that spirit? Anything else on? Yes, right there. We're going to get two more. You get the deck out of my hand. We got Fury Beginnings. Woo, okay, super full moon. If there's our Fury with the Aries. Oh, God, okay, it'll be all right. You're on the brink of a real breakthrough. Follow your heart and live your passion. Mm -hmm. And divine intelligence. To connect with your higher self, you must first create space to listen. Space to listen. Curtail the fire. Stay quiet. Go to your higher self. Yeah, first before you try to engage a conversation, avoid the five of swords. <laughs> Yes. Let's go ahead and pull the tarot. Okay, I'm not... Mm, I see the bottom of the deck. Oh. Uh, we're, yeah, we're using the cosmic tarot. That one threw me for a minute. Let's, let's tap your person's energy for this week. Let's see what kind of energy they're coming in at us with. 
Help us out, Spirit. This is for my Aquarius this person. What are they coming in with here? Where's their energy this week? Show us what's going on with my Aquarius this person. That one don't want to let go, but it, it jumped out. Oh, we got a Queen of Cups energy. Cancer energy coming in. Water. Might be dealing with a water sign. Or it just could be their energy this week. And they are very guarded. Very guarded. Mm. They are coming in with, just the fact that they're coming in with the, the Cancer water energy. It does show that they do have concerns. Uh, one of their priority is ha happy home, hearth, family, roots, foundation, the security of that. Uh, but they are very guarded. Let's, let's pull the book real quick. I want to see what's running through their mind with the Nine of Wands. I don't know why I keep having to pull the books. I could probably tell you, but my brain won't let me remember right now. <laughs> what is this? Nine of Wands. Is my energy being wasted on things I cannot change? That's the energy they're coming in with. Uh, there's a little bit of frustration, uh, it, it's battle weary, but it's still home heart is still important to them, and they are trying to connect on a heart level. Um, <clears throat> I don't feel the shadow on her, but if if your person's got the shadow, they they may seem distracted, like a loft, like I can't handle the emotions right now. Of the energy of uh, us right now. So I don't know. Battle weary though. Am I wasting my energy on something I can't change? Let's go ahead and look at your energy from their perspective. From their perspective. Mm -hmm. But th guys, just know this: th this is the way they see you. It's not the way you see yourself. And it's only for the week. I'm only asking for them to share their thoughts and feelings about you for the week. What what are they seeing your energy as? Ew, Will of Fortune? Devil? Ooh, Aquarius, you a devil. And Five of Pentacles, like mentality. Mm. Bottom of the deck. Commitment. You're committed, the lover's card. They they do feel like you are very committed, but you seem to be going around on a wheel. The devil has caught you on the wheel, and it's a lack mentality. The, something isn't... Um, things never work out. Things are never good enough for you kind of mentality is how they're seeing you and what they're thinking of, that your energy is this week. Thus, they're guarded of, oh God, <laughs> yes. But under underneath it all, guys, they know you're very committed. You're very committed and serious. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going to transpire. The probable actions of what your person is going to do or just the probability of what will transpire this week. From Aquarius, and guys, just just realize I, I I do want to say something. Uh, Spirit's bringing me back, and I'm very chatty this week. Y'all forgive me. I don't know why Spirit just keeps pouring stuff in the side. If you're dealing with a water sign, guys, Aquarius, y'all are an air sign. Water and air together, it works. But when you get like a king <laughs> of swords energy with a queen of cups energy. Uh, the king can be a little bit insensitive to the emotions of the queen over here, the water sign. And the water sign can be looking at, at the king over here, which is you, king of swords, going, where the hell is your heart? Why are you always in your head? What are your feelings? I'm tired of hearing your thoughts. Why don't you tell me your feelings for once? It's a friction energy, guys, it, and it, it can heat up real quick, but it's also, once we get on the same page with each other, it's a very complimentary energy, if we can work through the friction times. So, yeah, I just thought I would mention that. <laughs> okay, let's see the probability. Oh, that popped quick. Hold on. We've got a four pentacles. There's a little bit of jealousy, not wanting to let go. Something's precious to me. I've got a tight grip on it because I feel like I'm going to lose it. We've got a two of wands energy. How are we going to move forward? We're stalled a little bit on um, moving forward. 
How do I get what I want? Kind of energy because it's bringing in ambitions and goals. And uh, Ace of Cups, love. Wow, 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 wow. Love. For some of us, that may represent children. A full card. Taking a chance, new beginning, or something feels risky. Clarify my full card, please. Pop, 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 pop. Apologies are going to come out this week, and we have something to do with children. Uh, feeling mm, is someone a pregnant? <laughs> I don't know. I ain't seen the Empress come out with it. most of the time for me. Spirit will use Empress with this um, to show me that there's possibly a pregnancy. <laughs> But it's definitely the past, forgiving the past, apologies. Uh, children, Six Cups represents children or youthful energy. Uh, new love. How do, how, so when we look at this, it's like, I don't want to let go. I want, I want, I want what we had. I don't, not wanting to move forward, but I feel like we're growing and we need to progress and move forward. But I want the the love, the first love that we had where everything was fresh and new. I want the past. I don't want our love to change. I don't want our love to change. And Eight of Swords, Self-Restrictor. I don't want our love to change. Ten of Wands, it's a heavy burden. Self-restricted and a heavy burden. Lovers is still on the bottom of the deck after all that shuffling. Uh -huh. Commitment is there. It's just fun getting on the same page um, what our wishes are. Wish fulfillment and moving past the storm. So we definitely got a storm coming. Uh, six, six of Swords can sometimes represent uh, somebody having to travel on uh, physically. We got the Emperor. Things are stable, don't worry, but be protective of the connection. And remember, with the Emperor, the one thing that runs through the Emperor's head: if I don't have control over something, a situation, you know, I, there's nothing I can do. What can I control? And it's normally how I react to something. And then be emotionally mature about things and nurturing towards each other with the Scorpio energy. King of Cups. So, yeah. We definitely got some kind of friction going on. And it could involve children. There's a desire for children or a desire not to have children right now. I mean, I don't know what the specific, the detail of, because I'm reading for so many of you. But what Spirit is showed us is there's somebody wanting to not allow distractions from, I don't want our love to change. I want that first love, the way we loved each other. I want to always have that with you, and I don't feel secure, but I'm willing to fight for it. I'm willing to go the distance for it. This is a card of persevering, even though <clears throat> you feel like you got a heavy load on you. Is I'm willing to work through things, but somebody is definitely just not wanting something to change about the love and the cow. Mm. Okay, let's pull our Hollywood romance stars. Let's tap into your person here. Let's find out what's important to them in the connection right now. What's really important to them right now in this connection? Desires. Pop, pop, pop. Getting to know each other. Enjoy discovering new commonalities, goals, and dreams as you get to learn more about each other. There's one more coming out with it. Slow down. Somebody needs that stuff to go slow. Yes. Just because you want something is so bad it doesn't mean we have to rush into it. Take a moment to talk with your partner and or self to reflect on what is best. They don't want to take things too too fast, uh huh. But they are recognizing because they got to get to know you. There's something changing because it's like, no, I don't want. I want to stay the way we were. <laughs> yes. Let's see your energy, or your desire, your desire. Let's see if we can get past your ego, though, and dive deep. What's in really important to you in this connection? To poop, make a move. The time is now. Someone is planning to take action or it's time for you to make a move. Make a move. Now, either that's you. Got, you're, there's something you're wanting to do. 
and you need to make a move or either you're worried because I'm feeling a heavy shadowy kind of energy of let's don't talk about it that would be you going no don't talk about it but in truth it's like if we're the ones wanting a child we're willing to not mention to our partner I didn't take my birth control I promised it to God sorry where they were like slow down so, or the energy could be flipped if they're the ones wanting, want, wanting something more of a commitment, something to change. Uh, that you you may be worried because it's coming in heavy with a shadow on it. Uh, we're worried about somebody doing something without being seen. We've got also communication. So, a conversation is on the horizon. Someone is planning to reach out. Be ready to express yourself. We know communications are are strained this week in this connection but it's also showing some heavy shadow stuff guys i i pinged a little too deep <laughs> and we went right past your heart into the darker side of yourself into your shadow on this one because either you're scheming something or not i hate saying the word scheming but strategizing something in your brain you're thinking something over a tactic or something or either you're worried they are mm. let's see what you got in common so just yeah y'all y'all deal with that one to the best of your abilities <laughs> yes i don't know what else to say because i don't like calling anybody out but we did we really did spirit allow this to go really deep into your shadow on that one in common, we've got Divine Union. Congratulations. It's time to celebrate. Both you and your partner have healed and learned the important lessons to allow this union to manifest. That's the one thing we have in common and what we think and feel is important about this connection with each other is a Divine Union. We're just having one of those moments, a week of friction. Uh, we're not on the same page with each other. Oh, okay. But remember, it's a void, a course, I mean, nothing's going to come of it other than we're going to get past it. Yes, we will get past it. Yes. But remember, a void, a five of swords. Bittersweet victories. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and get your person to put their energy down onto a deck. Let's get you a brief message ahead of time. Ahead of time. Brief message ahead of Ooh, guys, that was pretty quick. We're getting which one? We're getting both. We're getting two decks. Two decks. We'll take it. I won't be stingy. Who let them talk? This is my Aquarius person. Talk to us. Talk to us. Talk. Social media. It's passive, guys. There's a question that they're trying to ask you that has something to do with social media. Because uh -huh. it's very passive. It means that there's a question to it. I'm beyond crazy about you. Desperate. That's very passive. Very passive, so it means it's another question. Desperate. Are they asking you, or are you desperate? My feelings for you are real. Let's switch off the decks real quick here. Pop, twist, pop. Mm. You complete me. My feelings for you are real. You complete me. Somehow I will make the impossible possible. You mean everything to me. And... My friends say that I focus too much on you. There's something else. Hang on. Ooh, it was, there it goes. I just want to see you smiling with true happiness. I almost hate how much I love you. Oh, no. There is so much I want to say to you, but I always back out. Get them to say it to you guys. <laughs> Spit it out. Spit it out. Aquarius, have a beautiful week. Hope it was helpful, guys. Sending you love and light. Bless be.